All right, so I have some Dark Elder here, allied with Elder. Um, we're gonna be taking on some Imperial Guard and Ultramarines. Uh, for my list, leading my Dark Elder CAD is an Arkin. The Arkin has a uh, Blaster, an Agonizer, a, uh, and a Shadow Field. Uh, he's gonna be running with a unit of Grotesques and the Grotesques are just completely bare bones. Um, they're gonna be riding inside a Raider and the Raider has, uh, I think it's Night Shields. Uh, I'll check later. It's either Night Shields or this, the Sails. Um, for troops, I have three units of five warriors and each unit has a blaster in it. Uh, they're going to be riding in Venoms with two cans on each Venom. Uh, for fast attack, we have two Razor Wings, which are completely stock. We have, for our heavy support, two Ravagers, which each have three Dark Lances. Uh, we have a formation from the Homunculus Covens, uh, the Dark Artisan formation. The uh, Kronos here has the Spirit probe I believe, whatever one is the one that, that adds one to feel no pain. And the homunculus here uh, has a webway portal and he also has I believe scissor hands. And for my elder allies I have an Arkin and the er, an Autark, sorry. And the Autark has a scorpion chainsword and a banshee mask and for the troop choice I have two units of six rangers so we're going to be playing a maelstrom mission and we're going to take a look at the uh, Astartes force, I guess it's not even Astartes it's like half but um yeah oh and for warlord trait I rolled on strategic and got Master of Runes, or Conquer of Cities, whatever it is. Plus one, two cover saves and runes. Anyway, on to 1750 points of Guard and Ultramarines. Alright, so let's look at uh, the force we got here taking on Corey's Eldar. Do you have Eldar? Yeah, Eldar and Dark Eldar, I don't even know what I'm playing against. So. It's an Astromel Terram CAD with allied Space Marines, apparently. Yep. Does so, it actually work? Do we have the right number of stuff? Like, yep, we have. Sweet, legal! No, actually, I don't think it is legal. I have two of these support. But we're just doing this just for a yeah. game because that way no one has to sit out. So let's run through what you got for Astro. So I brought Yarek as my HQ. Oh, I forgot to put something out here. So Yarek is my HQ, and behind him... Oh yeah, we forgot. We have the Aegis defense line. We got two 30-man uh, blobs with three auto cannons in each one. And then the Vandetta. And underneath the Vandetta there, we have a uh, platoon command squad with the fat man uh, running it. Does he have a shotgun? He does not have a shotgun. Sadly, his mom was not allowed to be upgraded to a shotgun. We're not wizard No. <laughs> but uh, in that squad, there are three flamers and one heavy flamer. And then the other platoon command squad has um, two flamers and one mortar. For me, the Thoughts Marines, we have Chief Librarian Tigurius, uh, five scouts with sniper rifles and camel cloaks. I have a, my Stern Guard drop team with uh, three combis and two Meltas inside a drop pod. Uh, I have a Laz Pred, uh, Then I have three Centurions with um, Laz Cannons and chest missile launchers, and the Sergeant has a Omni Scope to do some split firing. Uh, power wise, I rolled pretty well. I got um, perfect timing, forewarning. I think this forewarning the whatever one gives me the uh, four up in vault. And I got five gaze, which will help just to ensure our reserves come on, even though Tigerius gives a boost already. 
and uh, yeah, press chance as well. So that's uh, eight or seventeen fifty points of. We also have an Agus uh, with uh, quad gun. Yeah, so Yarek's gonna main that. So that is seventeen fifty points of Imperium. Alright, so we've gone ahead and deployed. We're playing um, Contact Lost, Maelstrom of War mission. So we switched the objectives up um, from our last uh, Tyranid and Space Wolf game. So on this side here we got the Blob of Guards with the Centurions and Tigers trying to hold down the defense here against the Dark Elder. And the Command Squad's in the back. And my Predator is over on that side. And we are holding objective 5 and 3 currently. And then, so there's five, three is there. My scouts have infiltrated right over here, uh, near the Venom in this objective. And you have another Venom, uh, Grotesque in there. Mm -hmm. And then the, his rangers didn't have anywhere really to go, so they went there. So there's number fours, and five is over in that end. And your other unit of rangers went over there. Yep. So, and then you have Ravager here. Ravager and... Oh, you only have one Grotesque. Anyway, so that's it, and we're gonna try and steal the initiative now. You wanna roll, Gordon? You want me to? We got this. This dice already hit a six on it. So we're gonna steal the initiative. Stolen! No! <laughs> Every time. Uh, as Corey is trying to infiltrate, there are many jokes about stealing, so. Mm. Alright, we'll come back after. <laughs> well, actually, let's see what objective we got. So drawing, we get one objective card, and then we have to hold um, objectives to gain on our future turns. So we got objective six. Secure objective six. That's right there. You can't get it. That sucks. It's it's not never playing its own. Nope, not true. All right, coming back after Ultramarine and Imperial Guard or turn one, drop one. All right, so after that stealing the initiative, Ultramarines and Astra came out with authority. So over this way, the drop pod scattered off. Uh, my plan was to land on that objective to hold that one, and then the um, stern guard could come out close enough to grab that one, so he would have held two objectives and forced to make him shoot at the drop pod, because as it stands right now, we're able to draw three objectives on our turn. Uh, the team came ahead there. It's kind of a suicidal mission. They were gonna die either way, so I just went uh, all all in and fired at the Ravager, immobilized him. Yeah, they immobilized him, he jinxed, so it's not bad. Uh, the guy back there, the Ravager in the corner, right there, he jinked, thanks to the Predator. And I actually managed to... Um, Take off a... Uh, yeah, blew up one of the lance. lances, so... Uh, good shots by the Predator. Uh, between all the Astra forces, they were able to injure the um, Ranger squad over there and blow up this Venom. Then with the combined effort of the scouts here, they killed off uh, the remaining Cabalites to one man and he fled off the table. Uh, Centurions fired in, blew up this uh, raider, and the Grotesquerie is out and about. So we'll see what direction they want to go. So in reserves we still have the Vendetta and we'll get to come on first, hopefully getting the edge on his flyers. So let's see what objective you get for your first turn. Alright, you pull it off and that's oh, yeah. the worst one I can What'd you get? Uh, demolition squad. You just discard that. That's, you can't even use it. <laughs> There's yeah. no buildings at all. Assassinate. So if you get a couple of them, though. There are quite a few characters on the board. Yeah. Oh, um, and one thing to note too: you can never get more um, cards than you have objectives. So you get on your support control. So that's it um, for Ultramarines, Astro, Terminal. Forgot to mention too with the drop, probably support objectives. All right. So end of Dark Elder, turn one, and uh, nothing happened. I moved up that side with the Venom and the Raider bit. Uh, the Raider shot at, snap shot at the Predator, didn't hit anything. These Rangers shot into this unit and didn't do anything. This, this, and these Rangers as well, all shot into the unit as well, and I killed two Space Marines. And these guys walked up this towards the Agus line a bit and then tried to run and got a one on the run roll, so. Things aren't looking so great for Dark Elder, but um, we'll go to Astra and uh, Ultramarine's turn two. So objectives, we got two. Two. One, two. So 
So we got no prisoners. So that has to just destroy something. If we kill three, between three and five, we get D3. If we kill six or more, we get D3 plus three. And we have overwhelming firepower. We gotta shoot something down in the shooting phase. If we kill more than three, we get D3. That's it. Cool. All right, so end of Ultramarines Astra, turn two. Our uh, reinforcements didn't come with the Vendetta. Uh, we shot into the Arkans unit, failed to do anything. He tanked all the safes. Scouts just adjusted over here. Uh, the Stern Guard charged in and took off one hull point on the Venom, and it's stunned. Uh, over this way, the Predator fired in at the Ravager, reducing it down to a single Dark Lance and one hull point. Uh, we managed to clear him off this objective so he won't get one point or one extra um, card. Excuse me, card there. So that is it for Astra Ultra Turn 2. So you get to draw one objective. Two. Or you can only have as many as you hold. So if you hold two. hold two objectives, you already have one card. Uh, you can only have one. Yeah, you can hold up to your card, so that's why you want to make it. So you got. Overwhelming firepower. Kill something in the shooting phase. So. Let's see what happens in Dark Eldar. Eldar turn. Alright, so end of uh, Dark Eldar, Eldar turn two. Uh, over here, we were able to kill off the remaining um, veterans. veterans. Yep. And uh, over here, the warriors that were in this little. Axon over here, Venom did got destroyed. The Warriors moved up, shot the blaster into the Predator, and got one hull point on it. This Ravager sh a snapshot its uh, one remaining Dark Lance into it and got uh, nothing. Actually hit him, but didn't penetrate. Um, up here, the Grotesquery made a charge into the Centurions, and because of the uh, Banshee Mass, they weren't able to overwatch. And actually, the Arkin went into a challenge with the. Um, with Tigerius, I forgot they they had a four up invo from four warning, and uh, what else? oh yeah, and so there's something else. But anyway, Tigerius uh, got through the shadow field. The first wound he did, I rolled a one, of course, and uh, I lost combat by I think two or three, but I still made my morale, so they're tied up for another turn. Um, and back here, you can see the. Um, Dark Artisan formation. It's shot into an artillery unit which now has one wound left. And over here the two razor wings came on and shot into this blob. The first one shot into this blob and actually wiped the whole blob out. And the second razor wing shot into this blob killing a good chunk of it. And that was everything that happened and I got my cards. What's that? Get your D3. Yeah, I get a D3 for this. Assassinate. I assassinated killing three guys, and I get one. So I got two points this turn. Alright, let's see what right. cards we get. We have Secure Objective 3, Secure Objective 4. So end of Ultramarines Astro Middle Tarm turn one. It's gonna be quick here on out, I think. So the missiles are gone from the flyers. Uh, we scored objective three. I forgot to mention last turn we got overwhelming firepower and no prisoners. So we got objective three. And over in the combat there, I challenged his autark, but he backed away, just put his instant death with Tigers. I didn't get force off, but still at strength six. Uh, over this way the scouts just moved about and I we failed to clear the ranges off that objective, and the Vendetta arrived, failed to blow up the other flyer, but made him jink. So you get uh, one, two, three objectives. Holding. There, So you got secure with the six, five, and one. So six, you got that one, it's in the middle. And one is. Here's one. I think it is. Uh, well, 
<laughs> it's summer here. It's such a mess. Alright, well, there's an objective one here, so that's what you get. Alright, end of uh, Elder Deck, Elder turn 3? 4? 3. Um, so, yeah, I got all my objectives. I got objective 1, which was actually over there. Um, yeah, objective 6, which is right here, and objective 5, which is right here. Um, so we're now tied in points. Nope, you're ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. no, we're ahead. We got first blood in Warlord. Okay, and um, five, in the six. backfield, Talos and Kronos moved over, charged the command squad, killed them, consolidated up this way. The combat continues here with the, uh, the Grotesque taking a few wounds and uh, the Autark just hanging around to keep them in there and babysitting them. The two flyers moved over this way. Uh, one of them shot into the company command squad and the other shot into the uh, predator over here but failed to do anything. And these warriors are just slowly making their way over. And that was everything that happened, so one, two... We get one objective oh, yeah. because we hold two and we already have one. So we get two? Yeah, you got your guy in my scouts. Mm -hmm. Objective back then? Yeah. Oh, that's how it went back there. I didn't even know that they were from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hungry for glory. Score one victory point and issue a challenge. Well, that all charge. Just if you issue it? Again, yeah. You have to accept the cowardly as I accept. Probably not going to accept. Of Ultramarines, um, an Astra turn three? Four. Oh, four. Five? Four. Four. Yeah, this is four. This we is went for, yeah, yeah, start of turn four. Yeah, so over this way, the uh, Vendetta came in and blew up the Ravager that was once over there. The Predator finally finished off his foe over there, and along the mix, uh, Tigurius issued a challenge, scored us a victory point, and then promptly died to the Ark who finally stepped up. Cowardly Eldar. And that is it. So let's see what you got. And then scout the back there. So you get two objectives six. You get two objectives. So where's two at? Oh, the scouts. And six, and then I just lost. Okay. So this game just got interesting. Alright, so uh, end of Elder, Dark Elder, turn 4. Uh, this combat continues here with Centurions. Uh, the Arkin is in a challenge currently with her commander guy, and the Arkin took a wound, and the commander didn't take any wounds. Uh, over here, the Tylos and Kronos charged into the, uh, the Dark Artisan, charged into the Blob unit there, killing off a few guys and not taking any wounds in return. Um, I use this razor wing there, this blaster warrior right over here, to shoot into the predator, but they were unable to do anything. Um, over here, this unit right here, the blaster warrior, tried to shoot into the draw pod just to see if he could do something to it, but no, no luck. Uh, the venom flatted out from over here onto this objective to grab that, and that was everything. So on to uh, Astra and Ultramarines turn 5. Alright, so end of Astra, Ultramarines turn 5. Uh, back here, the Flamer veterans came out of the Vendetta, roasted the squad back there, scored that objective, and captured another objective. And with this drop pod uh, is holding number 6, which the Vendetta eliminated the e Venom there. Over this way, um, Corey still holds a, a, that objective. The Predators came out. Uh, going over here, the Centurion actually beat the Autark up and killed him, but the Grotesques are fearless, so they're going to be stuck there for a while. The Kronos and Talos continue their rampage over with the Yerix unit. And back here, the Scouts still hold this objective, so if the game continues, we're going to get a lot of objectives. So we scored uh, number four, and we didn't get the draw last turn, as you probably noticed, because we only held one objective at the start of this turn, and we had one card. So Cory doesn't get to draw any cards because he only holds one objective and currently has two cards. So it's going to be tough for him. He still has Big Game Hunter, Secure Objective 2. We're ahead by two points right now, I believe. 
We'd have to double check, but let's go into other Dark Elder turn clock. Alright, so uh, basically the only thing that happened was this sniper shot into the unit of flamer guys right here. They're now falling back. That's um, a big deal, yeah, so they're not on that objective anymore. And my uh, fire in ongoing reserves came in and actually got shot out of the air by the quad gun. And uh, combat's over here, the grotesques and the centurions continue to battle on here, nothing happening. And over here, the Talos and the Kronos and the Monculus are just, they've been just in this gong show forever. Um, so that's pretty much everything. Yeah, see if the game continues. It does. It does. So, so on to, yeah. Our objective. We can only get two now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah. So we got secure objective five, which. And. Recon, we're not doing mysterious objectives. Okay, well, let's just keep going. And. Domination. Uh, secure. Hold every objective on the table. Yeah. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, see what they can pull off. Alright, so end of Dark Elder, other turn uh, 6. So this combat continues. Put a wound on the sergeant there, so each one has wound, one wound left. Um, over here, Talos and Kronos moved up, uh, assaulted the predator after this blaster warrior shot at it and they were able to take it out, so that gave me a uh, victory point. And over here, the rangers were able to regroup and move back up to that objective, and that was pretty much everything. Oh, this uh, razor wing moved on the board, shot into the scouts, and made them run away. So that was everything. Do we do a recap for everything? No worries. Okay. So on our turn, uh, what happened, um, the Vendetta moved over here, shot at the Rangers and made them fall back. These guys regrouped and uh, Yarek died in assault. With the Kronos and Talos. With the Kronos and Talos. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see, yeah, it's how they jump over. If the game continues, someone back to roll a die and some have one. Nope. Nope. So it's so. a tie game? That is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oh, for Warlord, nine for the Mindbreaker. We got nine as well. Nine all together? Yeah, because we got all three secondaries. So nine, nine. First Blood and Warlord. Wow. Yeah. That was a pretty close game. Wow. Yeah. Really went back and forth. I found it too for people that are watching. We did the tactical escalation wrong, or the rules, so. What? We did the rules wrong. What do you mean? Like, we should have, like, yeah, you can generate even, like, you can go higher than your. The number of. Like, yeah, but uh, it, it, in all reality, you missed out one turn and we missed out one turn, so it even out, really. Because, I mean, mm. could have just changed the book. So. No, nah, we would have got an extra point. We won this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 just yeah. so anyone's watching, we didn't <laughs> yeah. realize we made that mistake, but it was fun the way we played it. So. Mm -hmm. It was. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, thanks yeah. for watching. It's late. <laughs> it is late. It's way past my bedtime. Way past. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.